happening, everybody? It's your boy Smitty, man. How y'all feeling today? How y'all doing? I know it's been a while. See, it's, it's, it's been a while. And uh, I've been working. Just cut off home time about two weeks now. Yesterday, but I was home for about two weeks. And uh, I'm back at it again. So I get a lot of email every day. A lot of email every day. A lot of emails. And um, I think I've done this video before in the past. Lease or company. And I, a lot of people ask me, man, you did your lease. I'm in my last steps of my lease right now. I got about, what is it? Uh, it's July or August. I don't know. About five more months left on my lease. And... Did I start lease? No, I started company. I did company for about about eight months, um, and that was back in 20, 2016, I think. Twenty sixteen, no, twenty sixteen, twenty seventeen. Um, a lot of y'all may not know that I I left Prime, and then I came back. I left Prime for about three months, and then I came back. So. When I was first at Prime, I did company. So let's talk about company first. Company is good to get your feet wet after training, after being on your trainer's truck. Uh, now, different people may say different things. Oh, you should go lease first. Oh, you should go company first. It's just my opinion, okay? So don't get in your feelings about certain subjects one would say, okay? It's just, it's just my opinion. Company, if you're a new driver, even if your mother was a truck, your daddy was a trucker, your grandfather, whatever it is, you weren't a trucker, okay? They can tell you all them certain things, but until you get in this seat and start driving this truck, you're gonna make mistakes. So why not make mistakes with somebody else's money? You know, some have the truck. I'm here at Prime. They'll replace it. You don't pay for your own fuel when you're company, um, and it's a learning experience. You have to learn this truck, learn the roads, make your mistakes as a company driver. If you have any doubt, now you have to. You can't be like, well, I want to go home when I want to go home. I want to make a little more money. Okay, you can, I know company drivers that are making great money and they're not training and they're not teaming and people are bringing home between 11 to 1600. Now, some people might say, oh man, I can do that local. You probably can do it local, but you're OTR. I'm talking about OTR dudes, okay? So you probably can do that local. But that's what people are making, you know, especially in the, I can't say the word, the whole 19 thing. You guys know what I mean, the whole 19 thing. If you know what I mean, put it in the comments. Um, you know what I mean. So why not make your mistakes, learn the truck, learn the business, learn the running lanes, um, learn your truck. It's it's a learning experience when you're a company driver, and you have to start somewhere. Uh, people say, "Oh, Prime this or Swift that or Sierra England this." You got to start somewhere, no matter where. You got to start somewhere. So do it. You got to start somewhere. So that's why I say, do company when you first come out here. There's levels to it. There's levels to everything when you come out here in trucking. You can't just jump from A to Z in a month. Learn everything that you gotta learn on your trainer's truck. Ask questions, don't be lazy. Get off your phone more. Uh, if you don't understand something, ask about it. Just don't let it just, oh, I'll learn about it some other time. No, ask questions. Don't do that, okay? So. That's my input on the company side. Other people may have some more stuff in the comments, okay? Check that out. Lease, now lease, that's the next step up. 
you got to think business minded. You can't be thinking about company ways. You know, here at Prime, a company driver starts off at, I believe, uh, 45 cents a mile. 45 cents a mile with a company driver. Lightweight, I believe it is at 50 cents. So if you have a lightweight, it's half of this truck. You know, you've seen the lightweight trucks out here. Um, it's 50 cents. And, and like I said, a regular condo, what I'm in right now, it's going to be 45 cents. I think that's what it is, 45 cents per mile. If it's not, once again, put it in the comments below or go on a prime site. But the last I looked, I believe it was 45 cents. So when you're leased, it's 72%. You're off of percentage. You're off of, um, you're paying for your own fuel, paying for your own truck payment. You're paying for your APU unit at $70 a week, every week to rent the APU. Um, you have to pay for your permits. All these certain things you gotta pay for. My fixed cost is 13, um, it's 13, uh, 1,313, okay? That's my fixed cost for a week. My truck payment is 1,018, $1,019? Yeah, that's what it is. So you put that plus your permits, plus your APU rental, that brings up to my fixed cost of being 1,313, okay? There's a difference between fixed costs and your and your uh, truck payment. So don't let nobody fool you on that. Truck payment is 1,000, like I said, 1,018 or 1,019. Um, and with everything else I said, comes your fixed cost being thousand um, thirteen eighteen or thirteen nineteen. I gotta look at it. But let's get back to the subject of hand. Um, paying for all that, you're paying for your fuel. Um, you are trip planning a lot more. What routes do you want to go to? You're asking dispatcher. Can you see me here? Because you know it's hot right there. When I say hot, meaning the the loads are good. Um, knowing when to shut down. Um, knowing um, how to save money. When you're leasing, you gotta save some money. Especially if you are doing it by yourself. Meaning if you're the head of the house, you know, you gotta save some money. Sometimes you gotta take some uh, sacrifices, okay? Now money's gonna vary. I'm, I'm not gonna tell you a, 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 a number when it comes to uh, solo leasing. Um, I only solo leased back in 2018 for about six months. So, yeah. So, as you guys know, I'm a trainer and I do TNT. So basically my team, my truck is a team truck. So I'm getting team loads. So it's gonna, it's gonna vary, okay? It's gonna vary on how much I get a week. But with the whole 19 thing going, um, it's dropped some, um, meaning what I'm making a week. So now back to what I said about, uh, if you mess the truck up, like you dent the truck or whatever it is, um, you're gonna pay for all of that. You're gonna pay for, if you rip a fender off, uh, you're gonna pay for brand new tires. Yeah, I pay for my tires too. I got a tire fund that I pay for. I'm not sure if company guys pay for their tires. I don't think they do, but I got a tire fund that is taken out of my account every week. So, um, you can't make no mistakes when you're leasing. Um, I learned a lot of my stuff from other YouTubers, from other people that were here at Prime. I've learned a lot of stuff from them. Um, you know, I was the one saying, oh, I don't want a team. I don't want to train. 
but sometimes you got to make them sacrifices. Like you're away from the house, you got to sacrifice that sometimes. You know, you're away from the house, that's something that you just, just got to do sometimes. So, um, learning the freight lanes, um, um, knowing who to talk to inside the office, getting a relationship with your dispatcher, just like on the company side, get a relationship with your dispatcher. Um, and that works on a company and lease. You know, tell them what you want, tell them what you're looking forward to, all those things. So hopefully, um, and other things too as well, leave in the comments too as well. Oh, and one thing that people are saying, oh, I want to just go be able to just go home and uh, because I am a lease driver, okay? There's ways around that. But if that's the only reason why you want to go lease is because you just want to go home more than four or five days, that's a that's a dumb thing to go lease, in my opinion. So, any other things, leave down in the comments. Other prime drivers, other people at other companies, leave it down there. If you have any, any uh, questions, I get back to people as fast as I can. Sometimes you may need to send your email twice. Sometimes I may overlook it. I'm sorry. I'm a busy person out here. So you may have to do that as well. So sorry for the hold up with the videos. Uh, they'll be coming back uh, a little more stronger as the year goes on. You know, trying to find other content. Um, you know, everybody's in the backing content, the pre-trip content. Um, so just trying to look for other things than just you see me drive, you know see my truck you know like it's kind of old it is old so once again y'all it's your boy smitty it's your boy smith signing out yeah